Betelgeuse is the star which adorns the right shoulder of the hunter in the constellation Orion. But pretty soon, it could potentially be replaced by a light as strong as our moon before finally going dark forever. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star located 640 light years away. It is somewhere between 10 to 20 times the mass of the sun, but 700 to 1000 times its radius. If it replaced our solar system's sun, its surface would reach the asteroid belt and extend out towards the orbit of Jupiter. Red supergiants this large are intrinsically unstable. Although Betelgeuse has a luminosity around 13,000 times that of the Sun, its brightness fluctuates between 0.2 and 1.2 magnitudes in the night sky. Consequently, despite being the 10th brightest star in the night sky, there are times when it outshines even Orion's brightest star, Rigel, and other times when it appears fainter than Deneb, the 19th brightest star in the constellation Cygnus. Massive stars usually burn through their fuel much faster than other stars and are therefore extremely short-lived. At just 10 million years of age, Betelgeuse is already quite old for a supergiant and is nearing the end of its life. In contrast, our Sun, a yellow dwarf star about 4.5 billion years old, is expected to last another 6 billion years. As a star ages, it quickly burns out its reserves of hydrogen fuel and switches to helium and other elements. During this expansion and cooling, the star is called a giant. During fusion, heavier and heavier atoms are created until its core becomes iron, at which point it runs out of fuel. If the star in question is as massive as something like Betelgeuse, it will eventually collapse entirely and explode in what is called a supernova. In fact, it is quite possible that Betelgeuse has already gone supernova, but its light has not yet reached Earth. When Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, it will present all of us here on Earth with a truly spectacular sight. Its lights will appear as bright as the full moon and will be visible even in daylight for several weeks. This will give us the impression of seeing two moons in the sky. But wait a second, won't its radiation be harmful to us? Well, in order for a supernova to be harmful, it has to be less than 25 light years away. We can rest easy though, as Betelgeuse sits at a safe distance of 640 light years from Earth.